and this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com coming to you for your personal growth and spiritual development that you see in the world here in Thailand and the soundtrack to this presentation is the rain it's a beautiful warm steamy humid rainy day here in Thailand and I'm witnessing nature things growing things dying maintaining things in life there is three elemental forces in nature there is three elemental forces there is creation genesis there is maintenance and there is destruction death and these things are going on all the time and they're going on within us as well we shed skin as skin cells die most of the dust in your house and my house is skin cells and we shed what we need to leave behind a little bit like a a snake would slough its skin we see that happening in autumn winter when the trees shed their leaves and then in spring there is creation generation and then there is maintenance through summer we live in a wonderful balanced universe and if we live in line with universal forces if we align with universal forces elemental forces if we live a natural healthy life then we become natural and healthy we live longer we maintain ourselves better and we generate new healthy cells in our brain in our skin in our eyes in all internal organs in every facet of our body our being witnessing also nature Thailand is a very hot place but you get a rainy season because we live in a world of duality where there's always opposites so there's sun there's rain there's daylight there's nighttime there's up there's down there's left there's right always seek balance always seek harmony to the degree that you live in balance you will have balanced physical body, balanced emotions, balanced mind, balanced life and I'm noticing that I've just come back from the market just bought some tangerines and some watermelon and I'm looking at people who have got very little really in western sort of values you know we would look at people who have got possibly a couple of shirts, a couple of pairs of shorts and a pair of flip-flops and say they've got nothing. But I don't say that anymore. I've not said that for about 20 years since I've been witnessing Thailand and coming into Asia. They don't here collect materialistic things. They don't want possessions. They value morals, their religion, their family, their faith, their self-respect. They value themselves. I'm learning that, I've learnt that, I teach that and this chap at the side of me in the market buying tangerines probably in his 80s looks absolutely as fit as a fiddle and um, I watched him go to his battered car with his battered hat but he didn't have a battered body the longer I stay here in Thailand and witness behaviours which We've forgotten, we've lost. We reach too quickly for medication and we don't dwell on meditation. We are, within us we have a pharmacy, we have a natural ability, a natural propensity to heal and yet we go for pills and potions. Use your own resources to maintain your body you need to align to nature. Fruit, raw vegetables, lean meats, fish, fowl, whatever you want to eat, and I'm not going to tell you what to eat unless you're on my programs. But ideally, your body knows best. But do you listen to your body? I witness adverts now in the UK, even from Thailand, I can watch UK TV, where it's telling people the weather's cold, flu's on its way. And that's almost like hypnosis telling you what's going to happen next. I know people 
when I used to work in industry that had a headache on a Monday morning, which was quite normal if they overindulged at weekend. And they knew that by the middle of the week they were going to feel awful. And they were almost saying, well, you know, I feel rough today. Tuesday, Wednesday is going to be a nightmare. By Thursday, I'm going to feel terrible. By Friday, I'll be getting the weekend off. And they're almost programming a negative future. And there's adverts on the television, isn't they, saying, you know, ooh, you know, when you've overindulged, when you've had too much acid, get the gavish gone down you, get the milk and magnesia down you, get the remis down you, get the antacids down you. And the obvious answer is don't have the acids in the first place. Don't eat the crap food. Don't overindulge on pizza. Don't keep filling your face, filling your stomach, making yourself ill. And then reach for something that's supposed to make yourself well, but ultimately will make you even worse. You can't survive on Gaviscon. You can't take anything extra for the rest of your life and live on a Meprazil or um, Night Nurse. You know, sleeping pills, alcohol to help you sleep, comfort eating, all these coping strategies are not natural. Get back to nature. If you don't generate new cells by eating healthy, nutritious food, you don't maintain yourself, you will die early. You should be doing things that make you live longer. And as I witness people in Thailand living to a ripe old age, that's because they have ripe, fertile, fertile bodies. Their bodies aren't dying, they're not having cancers, leukemia, strokes, obesity, diabetes, depression that we have in the West. So as I witness Asia and the Eastern cultures, Eastern belief systems, Eastern um, living styles, no, they don't have maybe what we have in the West. They don't have, you know, um, fantastic houses. Uh, they do have big tellies, actually, because they love the tellies, funnily enough. Um, but they're not sat in front of them all day watching drivel on daytime TV. You know, Jeremy Kyle and stuff that's chewing gum for the brain. They are learning, they're involved in the families, they um, include their grandparents in the families. It's glamorous to grow old here. Uh, elders here feel valued. Uh, their wisdom is accessed. Um, and, and, and children aren't just plonked in front of a PlayStation. They work with their parents, they work on the farms, um, parents play with the kids. It's a fully inclusive, harmonious, natural lifestyle that we've lost. As I witness it, I'm returning to the UK and teaching the UK and sharing the UK and Europe. It's a fantastic, new learning for me which really I knew but you get socially hypnotised so don't be socially hypnotised you know what's right for you and what's wrong for you get back to natural function in your body nice kind natural laughing happy thoughts in your mind know that there is duality there is good and bad there is night and day there is rain and sunshine but ultimately you'll survive it all, so smile anyway. And eat naturally, sleep when you're tired, play when you want to, dance, laugh and sing. Because it's these natural things that are innately your God-given gift. And if you don't believe in God, your birthright to be happy. You're not born to work, you're a human being. You're not a human working, you're not a human doing, and you're certainly not a human stressing, you're a human being. Learn to just be, be yourself, be happy, be confident, be natural, be nature. Three forces, which is where I started, creation, maintenance and destruction. Do everything to create a wonderful life and maintain that wonderful life, and that death will be a long way in the future for you. And in a world of duality, where there's up, down, left, right, yes, no, wet and dry, and sunshine and rain, 
understand that there's always going to be opposites. Seek out the good, positive things. See the good in everything. Expect the best and have a wonderful life. As I witness this in Thailand and share it with you, you look round and wherever you are, you'll see the same. Happy people because they've chosen to be miserable people because they've decided that's all they're going to talk about. Talk about the good things even if there's bad things going on and you'll live a lot longer. And keep checking back for more nuggets of wisdom with me, Mike Garner, as I continue to witness the world. God bless. Have a great day. I am. Take care. Love you. Bye for now.